Hi, Tony Bradshaw, the owner of AdSumToYourIncome.com, here to help you to discover fun jobs that make a lot of money. And I've kind of had a fun time putting this together, actually. I'm going to first give you occupations that make over six figure a year that could be fun, that are fun, that based on my opinion are fun, and you could make fun. Did I mention that? I did probably too much. All right, then I'm going to give you some quotes that are going to help guide your thinking on the kinds of companies and jobs that you should be looking for and what to do for yourself to make it so that you are ready and qualified to have these fun occupations. And then lastly, I'm going to tell you about companies, really one company for sure, and how to, how to find companies that focus on fun. Let's get started. Let's dive in, as I say. So fun jobs that make a lot of mo. I gotta move my face so you can see the rest of money. As I said, fun thing to put together today. I liked this focus, figuring out not just how to make a lot of money, but what occupations are fun that make more than six figure. So I looked at making more than a hundred thousand a year based on the Bureau of Labor Statistics website. So I just went into that website and I, I looked at more than 100,000 a year. It happens to be that the order we're gonna go is from lowest to highest. So if you go through this with me, the lower amounts are gonna be the first ones up through to the higher amounts of occupations that I see could be fun, beginning with art directors. What a fun spot to be, to get people's art, figure out how to showcase it, to get the buyers of art. I see that you could have a lot of fun with that. I think with any position you end up with, an occupation you could end up with, finding yourself not having fun. But if you're looking for fun and you're looking for kind of your own self-expression, I think this could be a great one for you. Midwife. I debated about you're dealing with a lot of medical stuff, and yet at the same time, I think you could have a lot of fun with it. If you're a fun person, I think that that would really help connect with the person that's about to have a baby and planning that. Sales engineers really need to not just know fun, but also story and how to work through planning out how you as a team are going to make those sales. So I, I could see you could have some fun with your presentations and the way that you put things together. I will say at this point, I think you can make any occupation fun, except for maybe things like actuary, who's just a really highly paid mathematician, and just the numbers are the numbers. Uh, same for like accountants, lawyers. There were quite a few positions that I did not include in this list. For most, I think you could have a lot of fun. One that does pay more than 100000 a year that a lot of people don't think of uh, are those teachers who are post-secondary, beyond high school. And one of them listed was health teachers. I could see that that would be someone that could have a lot of fun. If you're teaching at that higher level, if that's what you've mastered as your craft and you could do that, I could see that as fun. Just speaks fun, entertainment and recreation managers. And I know a friend of mine, that I actually worked for him in one of my jobs, my second job, to help make some more money. He's a recreation manager and he does make some nice money. That is obvious to me because I've also had his kids as my students. And I've seen those entertainment managers and, as well and how it does seem like they are well paid. So if you're looking at doing going into that, you are still a manager, but you could have some fun with it. Maybe you enjoy the stars. Maybe you enjoy that and you want to be a part of astronomy. And that could be fun for you. Up all night sleep all day. <laughs> um, with that, I will say you might get bored just counting stars or redoing. No, you've got to th you always think about, okay, there are parts of jobs that could get mundane and boring. However, I really think you could like, you're going to be your own group of people. And if you're really into that and you become an astronomer, I, I imagine they have fun late at night, just playing around. <laughs> 
any training that you're doing when you're doing the training? You have fun, and you, if you become a trainer, uh, what kind of trainer will you can become? Well, you can be, they're officially called training and development managers, where you're overseeing the training and development that's happening within the company. And really, any manager, whether you're looking at advertising, marketing, promotions, public relations, sales, whatever it's looking at, when you get to the manager position, you get a, you have a lot more control over what's happening, and you also make more money. Moving into mastering your craft quotes. When you master your craft, you will be paid more. That is to say, if you know that there's something you're doing that is fun, or you know what you want to do that is fun, but you're concerned that it doesn't make a lot of money, just keep at it. Because the money will follow. Here are some quotes to prove it, and some other people's words of wisdom that you might believe if you don't believe me. <laughs> the secret of joy in work is contained in one word, excellence. To know how to do something well is to enjoy it, said Pearl Buck. Anything's possible if you got enough nerve, said J.K. Rowling. And we know she had enough nerve to write the books that she's written that's gotten her where she's at. Good, better, best, never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best, said St. Jerome. The successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. And a quote from me next, because this one's from Bruce Lee, a quote from me, laser focus amasses wealth. Control your thoughts and your emotions and you become a master of your destiny, said James Allen. The hardest victory is the victory of self, from Aristotle. I decided to make this one teeny tiny when I was putting it together. Making the simple complicated is commonplace. Making the complicated simple, it awesomely simple. That's creativity. I decided to go with the creativity of making those words teeny tiny by Charles Dominguez. <clears throat> because that's, that, I thought that was just interesting. Most of the time I'm making them really big so you can read them simply. But how many people in our lives will make the simple complicated <laughs> but making the complicated simple that's awesome that is creative on our last side and some comments here about companies that make fun a priority and i just need to move myself right here in the middle of all this fun stuff or something so you can see all the words here i am up here okay i'm excited to tell you about off the top of my head, a company that is fun to work for. I was learning about companies and why they're successful. And I learned that companies that make fun a priority win against other companies. That's a huge thought, so let me say it again in a slightly different way. Companies that are winning make fun a priority. They know that we want fun and we like fun. Your big name companies, and you could look this up, I, I, I saw the 20 best companies that are fun to work for or any of those other searches. They list companies that are being successful right now. Google, Twitter, Facebook. All, they, a long list of large companies that you think of that are fun to work for. They do things that are fun. They know that's a priority in your life. This is a kind of twist on our original question. You asked what kind, you found this video by looking for what jobs, what are fun jobs that make a lot of money? Well, guess what? Fun companies make a lot of money. And to be a manager in a fun company in a country that, company, a country, company that allows for fun is a great place to be. So let me tell you about the one that I, that really touched me and was awesome to help you to know the pattern you're gonna look for to find a company that's fun. So there's this company where when you go to interview, there are people there in their pajamas and some people in their costumes and they're doing these silly things. They're pulling pranks in the lounge while you're sitting there waiting and they are just being fun. They watch, they, they, even before you sit down for your interview, they watch to see how you react to the fun that they're having. Do you join in? Do you laugh? Do you, how, what do you do? How do you handle fun? And the company I'm talking about is Southwest. 
I remember taking a flight once on Southwest, and they uh, the stewardesses took two packages of peanuts, and they said, okay, we're going to see who wins with takeoff. And they put those packages at the front of the plane. And when the plane takes off and goes up, these just start sliding down the aisle, and they all slide past all of us, and they're commenting on the air about which one's in first place and which one wins the race. They have fun. It is a priority in their company. If I can remember, and I'll try to leave myself a note to put a link in to a couple of articles, but you can do a quick search yourself for companies that are fun to work for. And just be ready for that when you go to an interview. I mean, that interview is like a first date. The first interview, of course, is like a first date. How is that company? How fun are they? How comfortable are you there? And will you become a part of their team? Master your craft so that then you can make a lot of money and have fun. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.